Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Mel from Fortin, and welcome to a special episode of Does It Grind. In this episode of Does It Grind, we are joined by a guest, Stay Metal Ray. If you guys don't know about Stay Metal Ray, he is a fantastic YouTuber that focuses on guitar based content. Check out his catalog, he's got tons of great videos, and he's an avid Fortin user. In this Does It Grind, we will be grinding with the JCM 2000. So enough talk, let's jump into the grind. All right, so we're here with Ray, Stay Metal Ray. Say say what's up, Ray. What's up, man? How are you? Thank you so much for having me, dude. This is awesome. Of course, of course, man. So as you guys may or may not know, this is the first remote Does It Grind. We got Ray all the way from Philly, you said? Yes, sir. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, United States. That's where I'm located. Earth, planet Earth, too. So I'm down here in Anaheim, California, and we're going to do something a little fun. Ray is sending me his DI track through the internet using a program, and then we are getting it in to my Marshall JCM 2000, running into the Roach, splitting off into the Zool, and then we're going to grind with it. Uh, Ray, can you tell me about what uh, guitar you're chugging with today? Sure. I am using my Kiesel 7-string hyperdrive multiscale with Kiesel lithiums uh, loaded in it, one volume, three ways, super simple. Um, definitely fitting for this does it grind segment, very metal guitar. And, uh, you know, similar to my tone and my tweaking, which I'm sure you'll see here in a second, it's very simple. And that's kind of my mentality with everything. All right. So let's, let's get to chugging. Ray, is there a, we're starting at everything at 12 o'clock. Is there anything in specific that you want me to dial in? Like, so I'm going to chug, see what it sounds like, start playing. And then from there, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you very kindly on what what to do next all right <laughs> all right so uh let's just go for it so first things first first thing i like to do with all the fortin products is i like to step on them and turn them up all the way doesn't matter grind 33 hex drive for the most part, I put it all the way up and that's my favorite thing in the world. So we'll see what this sounds like. Uh, so right now I think I need more amp gain. Um, now, I don't know anything about the JCM uh, at all. Is, am I on like a clean channel? Am I on a crunch channel? Where, where am I at here? To gain, uh just the classic gain with the crunch on and it's at uh like 12 o'clock so i could give you a lot more gain if you'd like you want me to just yeah i want to i want to start with a lot more gain with the amp because i like i like to use more amp gain and then back off the pedals oh, okay um so yeah let's do that so i have it all the way up all right <laughs> It's not bad, but it's not enough. I want, I want, uh, I want the other channel. All right, all right. <laughs> Boom. And got you on lead one. Where, where is it at now? Is it at noon? Yeah, it's at noon. All right, let's just try it. <laughs> That's actually not bad. Um, I tell you what, can you turn down the grind? Like, put the grind at, like, 3 o'clock on, on the face of a clock. Yeah, and that's, that's like, noon. There we go. Um, and then, can I have a little bit more bass, please? More bass? Of course. On the EQ section. I have yeah, it at sure. uh, 3 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> dude i don't know that's that's that sounds pretty sick right there um i think a tad a tad more gain a little less grind please grind more gain there you go <laughs>
Yeah, I mean, <laughs> honestly, I, how does it sound on your end? I think it sounds pretty sick to me right now. Uh, hold on, I want to see if I can try this. I have the deep button push. Tell me if you like that better. Say, say again, you're... I, Pushed in the deep button. Uh, oh, okay. Let's see if it makes it So the, I'm assuming this, this will probably give me more bass? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I got carried away. Um, <laughs> no. I, honestly, dude, I'm going to go with no D button engaged. Just because, um, you know, although it does sound sick as like a solo guitar part right now. I mean, it sounds great. Um, just thinking like going forward and using this as like a usable mix ready tone or whatever. Like the guitar is supposed to live in the mid range. And as cool and as like, you know, powerful it feels with a ton of low end. When you add extra strings, like for example, a seven string tune down to drop a and you have a lot of bass it's just going to muddy up everything and it's going to leave no room for a bass guitar so i'm perfectly cool with just keeping that disengaged for the time being yeah 100 percent agree cool um and then on that on that to caveat off of that on that on that thought i would want just a little bit more treble oh, okay um and even even a little less bass just again just want to Keep it very mid rangey focused, but also too, I like adding a little bit of high end with my tone, just in the fact that like it sounds kind of gross. Yeah, and it helps like, it, in a good, it, it Yeah, in a good way. Like you know, we have the grind, and you know, Marshalls are kind of jangly by nature anyway. Like so, why not? Why not embrace it and go for it a little bit more? You know what I mean? I think I think it'll sound good. So let me just try it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm cool with that. I dig it, man. <laughs> yeah, let, I I think honestly, like this would be a tone that I would, you know, absolutely love. I do love it. So like, I'm totally cool with using that for you know the song that we have coming out and just using it as the tones for the mix. Sick. All right. So before we jump into the mix, let's listen to this without the grind, just to see how much of an impact the grind has on uh, the tone. For sure. I'm gonna turn off the grind. Shug away. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> yeah, it's it's the thing I love about these like simple, you know, boost pedals, like the grind, for example, it's like, it's such a nasty and gnarly sound that as soon as it's gone, it like, in my opinion, your tone loses all sense of like, I don't know, character or like aggression or like just vibe. Like it, it does so much to it, but all at the same time, in my opinion, it still holds the characteristics of the amplifier. So it's like, it's, it's awesome what, of what it does, you know what I mean? That's what I love about boost pedals. I've been kind of on a boost pedal kick recently just because I feel like it really helps the amp hold its own like character, as you said, but you get that additional gain. What I love about the Fortin products, especially like this specific pedal, is it clears up that low end specifically in like seven, eight strings, or even heck, nine strings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I completely concur, man. Like, you know, this isn't, this isn't me saying nice things because, you know, I'm collabing with Fortin. Like, I literally have a 33, a hex drive, or a grind back in the day when I had one literally on all the time. And, you know, they're different pedals and they do different things. But it's just like, it's my favorite thing to do and to add it into my rig. So, like, it's like, 
I almost, when I'm testing amps and stuff, I almost just like, it's just on, like without even hearing what the amp sounds like. I just, I don't know. It's just like, no, it makes my sense. favorite, my, my favorite thing to do. You know what I mean? And people, <laughs> people, some people think that's like a, a wrong way to test out gear and tone. And you know, you do pedals after the amp, but like, I know I go pedal first. Cause like, like when we were just doing it five minutes ago, it's like, yeah. you know, I was like, all right, take the grind, turn it all the way up. Let's see what it does. That's just like, it's my favorite thing to do. Stepping on stuff is fun. And you know, having pedals in front of your amplifier is super fun. So I love it, dude. So would you say that like, if you're going to be dialing in tone, dial in the rig that you imagine kind of like almost right away, right before just like, I know, understand like playing around with the amp is a cool way to get your bearings, but your approach is taking your board and taking what you would use in a live setting or a recording setting that you would imagine to use like immediately and just going for what you know. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I kind of like I already in my head have a sound and an idea of what I what I like. Like I said, lo- decent amount of mid range, not a ton of bass, and a lot of high end. That's just that's just my favorite thing. Um, so like I almost take I, I I almost take my you know whatever amp I'm I'm using for the first time or whatever. Like I just kind of just go there, and then I see how it sounds. And then if I need to tweak, I I tweak. I never do the the cliche of like everything at noon. You know, like play like just open chords right now. Like I kind of just. I know what I like and I kind of just see how a certain piece of gear reacts to what I think I'm going to like. And if I don't like it, then I tweak. So I kind of do it, kind of do it backwards. I like like the no, I, I respect that because if you know where you're at and if you know your starting point, especially if you know amps and your pedal board, especially since we have the same pedals, it, it's definitely a cool place to start and understand like, hey, I know like the flow of my gear and I know how that's going to react with amplifiers. So if you know where you're at, it, it's good to like always have that starting point. Yeah. Cause like it, you, you, you kind of know where you're going to end up anyway. So why not, why not like you're, let me put it this way. Like you're never, I'm never going to have my amp set at noon and the gain at noon and no pedal. Like mm-hmm. I'm never going to do that. So why would I start there? Like that makes no sense to me. That's Ray chugging through the Marshall JCM 2000 with the grind. Let's check this tone out in the mix. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this Does It Grind with Stay Metal Ray. And if you did, please go check out his channel. He's got a bunch of cool content and I'm sure you guys would dig it. But if you guys like this video, please hit that thumbs up button, sub to the channel if you haven't already, ring that bell for notifications, and leave a comment down below of which person we should do a Does It Grind with next. Take it easy, guys. I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>